Hey there, everyone. Welcome back. We're here doing the lessons of A Course in Miracles, and today we are going to get a teaching on what is the ego, and then we are going to do lesson number 331. So get ready to learn about ego. What is the ego? The ego is idolatry, the sign of limited and separated self, born in a body, doomed to suffer and to end its life in death. Ooh. It is the will that sees the will of God as enemy and takes form and takes a form in which it is denied. The ego is the proof that strength is weak and love is fearful. Life is really death and what opposes God alone is true. The ego is insane. In fear it stands beyond the everywhere, apart from all, in separation from the infinite. In its insanity, it thinks it has become a victor over God himself, and in its terrible autonomy, it sees the will of God has been destroyed. It dreams of punishment and trembles at the figures in its dreams, its enemies, who seek to murder it before it can ensure its safety by attacking them. Oh boy, and that's, that's one that's worth rereading. It dreams of punishment, of course, that's why we protect ourselves or armor up, and trembles at the figures in its dreams, the figures in its dreams, which is in our conscious state, all of the beings around us. Figures can also be things and places and all of that. It's enemies who seek to murder it, the ego, before it can ensure its safety by attacking them. So it puts us in this preemptive attack place. And I, my argument is all of this is very much unconscious, usually. And um, yeah, it's just something that's been coming up for me lately. So I'm glad that I get this teaching today and hopefully something in here resonates for you as well. All right. The son of God is egoless. What can he know of madness and the death of God when he abides in him? What can he know of sorrow and of suffering when he lives in eternal joy? What can he know of fear and punishment, of sin and guilt, of hatred and attack, when all there is surrounding him is everlasting peace, forever conflict free and undisturbed, in deepest silence and tranquility. To know reality is not to see the ego and its thoughts, its works, its acts, its laws and beliefs, its dreams, its hopes, its plan for its salvation and the cost belief in it entails. Ooh, that's a loaded sentence to know reality is not to see all those things. In suffering, the price for faith in it is so immense that crucifixion of the Son of God is offered daily at its darkened shrine, and blood must flow before the altar where its sickly followers prepare to die. It sounds like a horror movie. Yet will one lily of forgiveness change the darkness into light, the altar to allusions to the shrine of life itself? And peace will be restored forever to the holy minds which God created as his son, his dwelling place, his joy, his love, completely his, completely one with him. So we get four paragraphs of what the ego is. And then the last paragraph is our training, retraining our minds to turn toward the light. So as they do, the next teaching in line here supports this idea of, of the teaching around what is the ego. Lesson 331, there is no conflict for my will is yours. How foolish, Father, to believe your son could cause himself to suffer. Could he make a plan for his damnation and be left without a certain way to his release? You love me, Father. You could never leave me desolate to die within a world of pain and cruelty. How could I think that love has left itself? There is no will except the will of love. Fear is a dream and has no will that can conflict with yours. Conflict is sleep and peace awakening. Death is illusion, life eternal truth. There is no opposition to your will. There is no conflict for my will is yours. Forgiveness shows us that God's will is one and that we share it. Let us look upon the holy sights forgiveness shows today that we may find the peace of God. Amen. Okay, there is our assignment for today. Look upon the holy sights forgiveness shows. 
So I would say those are places where you might be having a little trouble and you're finding your triggers or whatever's happening is like bringing things up for you. Yeah, let's look upon the holy sites forgiveness shows today that we may find the peace of God. Okay, there is no conflict for my will is yours. Let's keep moving. Let's see what a year of forgiveness has to say about this lesson today. Lesson 331. There is no conflict for my will is yours. You are blessed beings indeed. I am that one you know is Jesus. Conflict is you arguing with God. That is essentially what conflict is. It is your judgments of the world saying, this thing that I'm watching, seeing, or being told about should not be. Still, God has allowed it. It is happening. It's what's there. To accept it is a very, very important part of bringing your mind to peace. The ego does not want to forgive anything. It does not want to step back from judgment because judgment keeps the world of separation alive. Even when you see something you think is evil, cruel, or terrible, your joining in the judgment of that, of that thing keeps it alive. When you see disaster or something negative, to forgive it means you say, I no longer want to see this. I forgive it because I know my judgment is what keeps it alive. Whew, that's a lesson that a lot of us need to hear, of course. There's a fine line between you know, sharing information and trying to help awaken our brothers and sisters and keeping alive a feeling of, of uh, disempowerment or wrongdoing or, you know, I, I think, yeah, I think we all need to watch out for that. I'm, and I'm only saying that because this movie Died Suddenly is, is being passed around a lot of my circles and I did watch it. And during parts of the movie, there was, there was this part of my mind that was asking like, why are you watching this? It's really horrifying to see what these, you know, uh, funeral home people are pulling out of bodies and like what you're putting these images in your mind are you creating this and and I went down that road um, but I do respect the idea of of that compilation film being shared with people who may be completely unaware of of what is being found in dead bodies lately and and all the information so anyway I, I say that all to say that when we're really focused on something in a negative way, we keep it alive. So hopefully we can find ways to focus on those kinds of issues, you know, like out in the medical industrial complex issues in our own personal lives, in our relationship, those issues. What am I focusing too much on the things that I want to change rather than on the new way that I want to feel about what I want the situation or person or place or thing to you know manifest or evolve into um oh it's tricky stuff okay tangent complete here we go this is something that's very important for you to grasp today that you are not condoning what is unpleasant oh thank you jesus for helping me end this conversation here in your forgiveness you ensure its demise because you no longer judge and therefore do not keep the world of separation alive what is the world of separation but suffering and death Forgive whatever you see and know that in that forgiveness practice, you rise above the battle, battleground and end separation. I am that one you know is Jesus and we will speak to you tomorrow. So I guess that's, that's our work for today. The course told us to kind of canvas around your life in your mind, of course, in your inner world, what needs to be forgiven. And this is really telling you the same thing. Forgive whatever you see and know that in that forgiveness practice, you rise above the battleground and end separation. All right, lesson 331. It's a wrap. I hope you all enjoy this. And uh, we are going to be heading back to uh, Arizona. We're going to leave our little Airbnb in California here. Had, had an experience. We actually had a lot of fun yesterday. We drove out to the coast. Got to see Los Angeles and Santa Monica and Venice Beach and then drove back last night. So Thanksgiving trip turned out to be a success after all. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone. Lots of love to you out there. Good luck with this lesson, and I'll see you tomorrow.